Hi, we're going to go ahead and connect the VEX EXP controller, uh, sorry, the brain to the computer and download a program. Okay, so to start, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, turn on the control, or sorry, turn on the brain. So we're going to click the power button on the battery on the right hand side. Uh, notice that's here. Oops. Okay, we should see that. And then we're going to click the check mark on the controller. Notice that I have the robot up on blocks. You'll see these little yellow, uh, little yellow uh, plastic uh, containers here that are keeping the wheels. Anything that will keep the wheels up off the uh, surface of the table uh, if you're working on an elevated surface to keep the robot from just jumping forward unexpectedly. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is to plug in the USB-C uh, cable to the right-hand side of the, of the brain. And we're gonna plug in that same USB-C cable into the uh, USB port on the computer. I've noticed that sometimes this does take a minute. So if this doesn't immediately turn green here, notice the brain here is green. Uh, uh, then uh, just, wait a, just wait a minute or two and then try to plug it in again. Uh, also, um, uh, if you're using the web interface, you may not be able to update the brain, but that's fine too. Okay, so as long as this turns green, it's fine. All right, so let's do a very, very simple program. We're just gonna drag over this play sound block. And this process will work the same for all uh, Python, C++, blocks programs. The, the connection of the brain and the downloading of the program to the rope, the compiling and the downloading of the program to the brain from the computer is, uh, is the same. So, okay, so we have our program. We've selected a slot. So this is slots one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The, the brain can store up to eight programs. We have our program here, it's just gonna play a sound. And now we're gonna download it to the robot. So if we click download, and we have it connected directly to the robot, and then we're just gonna click run. Okay, and there we have it running the, running the program. Then we can go ahead and click stop. And notice the screen goes back to, uh, black, back to where, uh, where we were. Uh, the next thing we could do, uh, we could also go to, uh, there's another way to run this program. So notice that if I wanted to go ahead and run the program once it's been downloaded. So let's say I want to take the robot somewhere else. I could disconnect uh, the brain from the robot. And at this point, what I could do is that I could, uh, I could go into the menu uh, on the brain. Okay, so I can, sorry, I could exit up to, uh, so if I wanted to run that same program uh, on the brain with the robot disconnected from the computer, I can click X up to the, the home uh, menu. I can go to programs and click the check mark. And then I can go to, uh, notice that we have this, uh, these slots are numbered here. So I, I just named this VEX code project. So uh, that's the name of it. I should have chosen a different name. Uh, but that's in slot one here, and I know that I uploaded it to slot one. I can click the uh, check mark, and then click the check mark again to run. Remember, it's just supposed, supposed to play a sound. There we go. Okay, so that's how I can run my program disconnected from the computer. Now, there's a second way to upload programs to the to uh, to the brain, and that's to do it wirelessly through the controller. So if we have our controller here. Uh, what we can do is we can go ahead and pair this controller. So if I go ahead and turn the controller on, and then if I go over to, uh, I exit up to the main main uh, menu by clicking the X to let's see home, arrowing over to settings, clicking the green check, clicking link, clicking the green check again. And then notice I hold down the two front buttons, oops, hold down the two front buttons and double click the power button on the, Controller, notice that it gives me a yellow light and then flashes green. Now my controller is connected to the, to the brain. Okay, so the other way that I can, uh, the other way that I can upload a program to the brain is to do it wirelessly through the controller. So let's say that I have this robot is, you know, 10 feet away from me. Say it's on a, a playing field or something and I don't wanna access it physically. I can go ahead and plug into the brain. Let 
Okay, and it's asking me if I want to update the VEX controller's firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and click no for right now. Usually, I actually, you know what? Well, I'm gonna click no for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click no. My controller is, uh, is there uh, uh, right here. Um, notice that it's yellow, meaning that uh, it needs to be updated, the firmware needs to be updated. But I can go ahead and download my program to the computer or to the brain uh, as we speak here. Okay, so at this point, what is happening is, is the computer is connecting to the controller and then the, uh, the computer is compiling the program, sending it to the controller. The controller is then sending it to the brain wirelessly. So notice there aren't any wires right now connected to the brain. Okay, then I can control it normally. I can go ahead and click run. And notice it runs the computer. So in this case, what we're doing here is that basically by just plugging in the controller, we can uh, control the, the brain then wirelessly. Okay, so those are our two methods. The first method was to connect uh, the USB-C cable directly to the, to the brain and uh, compile and upload our program, compile and download our program. Uh, the second method was to connect uh, the controller wirelessly to the brain, then connect the controller with the USB to the computer and uh, download our, or compile and then download our program wirelessly to the brain. Uh, best of luck. Thank you.